Hey, this is Mike. I'm down here at Grand Strand Nissan in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I'm checking out this 2015 Nissan Versa. It's a Versa Notes SL with the tech package. So this little car gets awesome gas mileage, got decent power, um, it, but it also is a good price and a lot of features. And um, it looks kind of like a small car on the outside, but on the inside it is surprisingly roomy. So let's go ahead and check it out. It's got 16 inch alloy wheels with this trim level. And I like the way the contour is. The whole shape of the vehicle. It's, um, the 15s really have a good, good style, aerodynamic style to them. A little bit of a sporty look as well. So here in the front we've got the halogen headlights and fog lights. There's the wheels. And this one does have the intelligent key right here. And um, so basically you can you know lock and unlock the doors, but also you can lock and unlock the doors using this button. You can lock the doors unlock the doors and, uh, and get in there so as long as you have the key on you you don't actually have to take the key out of your pocket you can leave the, po the key in your pocket or your purse and use the vehicle without ever having to take it out so here's the inside of the the passenger door and um, you've got like a little you know cloth design here on the side and uh, a bottle holder there and the whole inside of the door is black plastic it is a uh, this one you know has hard plastic not a lot of soft touch stuff in this particular vehicle here's the seats it's black this particular camera I'm using um, always makes the look the black look gray and I'm sorry about that but this is uh, what I got right now and um, it does have some white stitching here and this is like a blue um, fabric here in the center a little bit of texture there you see I have plenty of leg room it has this little pocket right here like an extra storage space for quick access stuff and a huge glove compartment massive I'm gonna put more than just gloves there all right so I'm gonna get the key back out because I forgot to unlock all the doors that okay all right so you can see that front seat was all the way back but look at all the legroom you have here in the back it's very substantial in the headroom so for a relatively small car um, you have a lot of room for your rear passengers and and um, in the front as well you got cup holders and armrests inside of the door no bottle holder or anything like that back here but you do have a uh, little storage space there I like the way they have the little glass right here and then you've got the little glass right here um, that kind of helps avoid uh, blind spots so here's the back Got a single exhaust with the four cylinder engine. So let's go ahead and open up the back. You can see it has a little camera back here. There's the trunk area. This lifts up, and you've got some storage space there. And then underneath that is where you find your tools and your spare tire. And these seats will fold down. In case you need some more cargo area, cargo space, and less passenger space. But uh, you do have this a 60-40 split there, so you can have a combination of cargo and passenger space, whichever you need at the time. Alright, let's check out the window sticker. I'm going to put all this stuff in the description, but um, in case you want to use the 
pause button and check it out now, you're welcome to it. It does have a 1.6 liter, 16 valve, 4 cylinder engine. And with the CVT engine, really helps out with the uh, the power of this vehicle and the, the acceleration and and um, and all that good stuff. Do you have heated side side mirrors? Inside of the driver's door here, you got your power windows controls, door lock controls, and um, your side mirror controls are over here. Do you have a traction control button here? You turn that off. It's default on when you turn the vehicle on. You have manual adjustments for the seat, but you do have the ability to raise and lower the seat. So I'm going to go ahead and hop in. So now, it's pretty quiet in here. To start it, I have the key in my pocket. I just put my foot on the brake and push this button. It's pretty warm outside, so I've got the air conditioning on. And looking at the steering wheel, it looks like it is a leather wrap steering wheel with uh, stitching here on the inside. And um, this is a, you know, this, this vehicle, uh, you can buy more basic. Uh, Nissan Versus. This one has a little bit more options, I guess, than the average one. Your cruise control is here on the right side of the steering wheel. And on this side, you've got your volume control for your radio. So you can turn the radio up and down. And you can also... Um, uh, this is for your Bluetooth system. Once you pair your Bluetooth phone, you can answer and receive calls here. You can also, there's a voice recognition system too. When you push that button, it will um, give you the ability to give the vehicle certain commands, like say, turn to a certain station or call a certain person, that kind of stuff. All right, so your volume. Now these buttons here, uh, source, this changes like say your CD, Bluetooth, auxiliary, AM, FM, satellite radio that kind of stuff that's that's what this source is this the, the audio source is what it's talking about when it says source right above here there's a, uh, a kind of up and down button and a button here and um, so this right here will correspond with this little menu system here so I'm gonna go ahead and push it and right now um, it gives you your time and uh, miles per gallon in the moment average miles per gallon and how many miles do you need gas? So I'm going to scroll there. So just kind of keep scrolling through. And probably the most useful is to tell you how many miles you can drive before you need gas. And this toggle switch right here also um, you use that to scroll through your radio. Like say um, scan through your radio stations and stuff. And I like the way the gauges are. They're very simple and easy to read. You have a real high contrast with the black in the background and the, the white standing out. Um, you know, it just has a real kind of, I don't know how to explain it, but just simple and easy to read. And um, I'm kind of like a simple type person. I like simple things. All right, this is your center stack here. And uh, this particular vehicle has a touch screen. Not all of them have it. Um, this one does have navigation and all that. Right now, and you can see up here, it has a CD player. But right now we're in the map screen. So it's showing, showing me where I am in relationship to the other roads. And I'm actually at Grand Strand Nissan. And I'm going to leave contact information in the description here. So, um, so you can contact them. But that's where I'm at. And when you push nav over here, this takes you to the ability to hit, put in a street address, and um, and you know you can go to your home address, that stuff like that. Once that's saved, you know satellite, radio, all the different um, audio inputs like I was showing you before is here. Uh, your Bluetooth um, phone settings will be right in here. Once you pair a phone, these little buttons will illuminate. They'll have your phone book and your call list and recent calls will will, will 
things will kind of pop up there and there's no phone paired now but um you know that phone will, that screen will be more useful once you do so I can hit back when you like say if you go into a specific uh, menu system um, like say hit that and I go there if once you're in here you can always hit this back button to go out that takes you back out of that particular screen that's what that's for you got another volume other than what's on the steering wheel you also have this to tune through the stations and right here is your climate control these this little section right here and your fan speed is here it has a really good blower in it air conditioning defroster where you want the air to blow the temperature also if you want to recirculate the air you have it on this side if you want fresh air you go over that side especially if you have um, if you're trying to defrost the windows you definitely want to have it on uh, the fresh air side and it gives you a little um, a little you know reminder there so down here we've got this little pocket and I'm not really sure what this is for maybe you can kind of clue me in maybe to put a few coins there but it doesn't seem like it's very big or it seems almost useless to me but I'm sure there's a use for it it's just I can't think of it two cup holders right there out of the way kind of down I mean this this the center uh, console here is really low so it's out of the way you got your you're not feeling claustrophobic your arms can move around and you know you can kind of rest um, so that, I think that kind of helps with the overall feel of a, a small vehicle the you know to not have so many things in your way so here's the shifter and um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in reverse so we can see this pop up and what's <laughs> this is really cool because it shows you the uh, basically behind the vehicle here but also every angle it's like a top view from the very top like something you know like a camera 50 feet above the car looking down showing you every square millimeter around your vehicle so you, you make sure that you don't hit anything so I'm gonna kind of just kind of back up a little bit just so you can get an idea of what it looks like when I'm backing up you see there and, um, and also when you push this camera button, it focuses the attention on this right dri driver's, uh, passenger side front wheel here. So when I turn the wheel, you can see it turning. So that way you can get really close to a, uh, like a curb or something, so you don't actually uh, mess up your wheels. So especially, especially helpful with um, with parallel parking and stuff like that and you can see it has these lines to kind of give you uh, a little bit more of a, an idea because it is a wide angle view lens so it's a little bit distorted so the lines really help out and you have these lines on this side to where you can turn the wheel and it gives you an estimated trajectory of the vehicle as as you're backing up like that so that's in the reverse setting so um, I, I mean that's a really cool thing that Nissan's got there with the cameras all the way around the vehicle um, you know, so, and it's real time awesomeness right there. <laughs> but anyway, so let's go ahead and put it down into neutral and then drive. And, um, this, the cameras will actually stay on if you're going slow. So like a, you can go forward a little bit and backwards, but if you're going over five miles an hour or something like that, the cameras will turn off as a safety because you want to kind of really look out the windows at that point. If you need to get into a lower gears because you're going down a hill or something and you need to use some engine braking, um, you can just go right there to low. And um, and it'll, it tells the transmission that you need to use the engine to kind of slow down a little bit. There's that. Old fashioned emergency brake right here. Parking brake slash parking brake. This one does have heated seats and they are cloth seats, but they're heated. And there's the controls there. Your USB and auxiliary inputs are right here, conveniently right next to where you would put your cell phone. And I actually found a spot for my big Samsung Note 4 to fit in. I mean, it fits in there perfectly, and that's a really good spot for it. It's out of the way, and it's um, it's easy to easy, easy to access to reach and access, but um, access, sorry, 
but uh, I think that's really good. Some of the other cars, um, you know, was kind of having trouble trying to figure out a place to put this big phone. So this is a perfect spot. Not really another spot for, I guess, over there on the door for the passenger's phone. I guess maybe in here, but uh, not sure. But, you know, at least my phone can fit in there, so there's a storage pocket there. All right, let's kind of get a zoom out view here. Has a regular kind of old-fashioned adjustable rear view mirror nothing wrong with that then you got your interior light there the visors have a mirror and you got this little thing that extends out because you know it doesn't matter uh, what you do there's always the sun tries to peek around it'll probably peek through here anyway so but it has a little bit of sunscreen there on the on the, the windshield so that helps Let me check out on this one yeah no light on this one but uh, it just has the mirror at least it's got that all right so let's see what it looks like in the back check out blind spots and just overall view it's got that little glass there to help with blind spots here in the front All right, let's take a look under the hood. All right, there it is, 1.6 liter, four cylinder. does have a high quality fit and finish under the hood as well as inside it's not a you know a real super high-end uh, vehicle here but it is a, um, a high quality vehicle and I guess there's a there's a difference all right it's pollen season so there's pollen on everything sorry about that Anyway, if you have any questions or anything, if you happen to be in the Myrtle Beach area and um, you even consider it remotely considering uh, looking at a vehicle, new or pre-owned, check out Grand Strand Nissan. Um, I'll leave uh, the contact information in the description for, the, for your contact here, but they will definitely hook you up and uh, some of the nicest people I've ever met at a dealership. So. If you could, uh, you know, check them out, give them a call if you have any questions. Of course, you can leave questions and comments in the description. If, there's, if you have any experience with one of these vehicles and you want to share it, please leave that in the comments. See you next time. Thanks for watching.